I wrote this for Cooper when he's a baby. My thought for you is to be happy in all you do. Learn to touch life with all the joy you can hold. Experience fun, don't be afraid, but always be safe. Learn to trust in good things. Always have faith in the Lord because He is your anchor to life. Always stay close to Parker. You two will always have each other. Always respect a girl. Be sweet. I love you. These are my thoughts for you. You are my baby boy, and I have been blessed. And that was in 2002, the year he was born. What I tell parents is, like, it doesn't matter where you live, your neighborhood is an open-air drug market. What is going on with prescription drugs in the drug world? Because every kid's gonna get exposed. I can call a doctor right now and get a Xanax in the blink of an eye, like this. Easy. What do you think the percentage of people shaming people dying from fentanyl have used drugs or drink? Well, I wonder what that percentage is, because I guarantee it's a lot. We're completely accountable. We're not in denial of the fact that our son made a choice to take his annex. But he didn't have to die. I mean, Laguna Beach itself is already such a small town, but Emerald Bay, I mean, obviously it's own community, but everyone like knew each other. Cooper was definitely like the goofy, silly one. He had like a very magnetic personality, so I feel like that's why a lot of people gravitated towards him. He didn't change. He didn't change if he was at church. He didn't change if he was with his friends. It was like, you got the same Cooper. He just started to fall more and more in love with, you know, skateboarding. It was just crazy how talented he was and able to, you know, pick up on things like that pretty quickly. Doing anything other than school and sports and music in high school is kind of like cringy. So I remember him and I would be like, we're going to move to L.A. one day. And then we finally did. I don't know if you can hear the words I'm saying right now, so I scream them louder. It was very similar to the feeling I got when I realized what music was. It's not like you just learned something new. It's like you just realize that you've known something your whole life. Like that's the kind of feeling it was. Like I feel, felt like I knew him my entire life, you know? Honestly, off, off rip, it was just like, oh, this kid's dope. There was never, I mean, there was never a dull moment, ever. They loved like brothers. They bickered like brothers. They had the same exact humor. I feel like we became like really good friends when we were on the road together. Like, that was like a, a bonding tour for all of us. <laughs> You're just like a character. And everybody just gravitates towards him. Like, he's not from this world. He didn't need to know you for him to love you. He just radiated so much like compassion. He just deserved um, so much better at the end. This song is <laughs> so amazing to me. It's like the only song in the album that makes me emotional, you know? Addiction is a, is a really scary thing. And um, I had somebody super close to me that went through that and almost lost his life. But the coolest part is, <laughs> he's still here today. And he always will be. If we can affect one person from making a decision that's gonna hurt them, kill them, whatever, and they do something different, and we save one life, it's a success.